Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing an ultimate all day clean with me. I know you guys love my cleaning videos, so I thought that I would put together this hugely motivating video for you guys. So if you are wanting to get your house cleaned, if you wanna clean along with me, turn up the music and get ready because I put together some great songs to get you motivated and get your house cleaned. And if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys stopping by. I do a ton of cleaning motivation videos and just videos of being a mom and doing stuff around the house and cooking and cleaning. And I've been doing some everyday day in the life vlogs lately. So I would love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. So go ahead and subscribe down below and don't forget to hit the little notification bell that will notify you when I post my videos. I have been dreading cleaning this kitchen. It got messy last night and I did not have a chance to clean it up before bed. So I woke up this morning and we had dinner dishes out. We had breakfast dishes out now. And now it is mid morning and I have to get all this cleaned up. And you know when you leave food out, it kind of gets sticky and dry. So I'm dealing with that right now, kind of throwing away the old cereal and the sticky plates have to be scraped off in the sink and I'm just gonna load them all into the dishwasher. So my dishwasher is being all wonky again and it is kind of like loose. I think the screws came out where it holds it from tipping forward. So for now I'm putting a silver bowl under the handle just to keep it from tipping forward. My hubby's got to fix it again. I don't know what the heck is going on with it but the screws keep coming loose. He says I'm being too hard on it. I disagree but whatever. We need to find a solution though. Here I'm just getting everything into the sink that needs to be hand washed. There are still some dishes that didn't fit into the dishwasher so I'm just going to get those all soaked so that all the food comes off easily. And then in the meantime I'm going to grab my Mrs. Meyers peppermint spray. I'm going to spray down the island and clean it. Now this needs to be scrubbed really well because like I said I didn't get a chance to wipe it last night so there is some stuck on food that needs to be scraped off.
Every couple of weeks, I will spray down the island where the kids sit. The kids mostly sit at the island. Um, my hubby and I sit at the kitchen table more often. So these chairs and the island tend to get sticky, especially when they drop food and there's spills and whatnot. So I like to give it a good wipe down, especially because it's darker wood. So um, it kind of shows everything. So I, I like to keep that clean. And I really, really do want to paint this island, hopefully in the new year. I've got some ideas on what I want to do. I'm thinking gray, so hopefully I can get to it because it always seems like my project list is super, super long and I always end up adding to it instead of scratching things off. But that's one thing that I do want to get done. All right, I'm gonna tackle these dishes over here. I've got my little scrubby brush from Grove Collaborative. I can't remember what the exact name of it is, but I really, really love it. It's got a little spring underneath the pad there. If you see the little ceramic dish on the um, kitchen sink, I take the little scrubber and I just pump it a couple of times and the soap comes up through the, um, it's like a little disc with holes in it. So it's super handy because it gives you just the right amount of soap on your scrub brush. And it is a, like a rougher scrub brush. So it works better on harder jobs. And then, then I have my regular um, uh, walnut sponge to use for just regular washing. Guys, I'm like totally obsessed with the peppermint Mrs. Myers cleaning spray. It is like a candy scented spray, like candy canes, and I just love to spray it and clean with it. It smells so amazing. So I'm just gonna spray my counters with that spray right now and then just wipe them down and make sure that there are no crumbs and no sticky spots left. If you guys love Mrs. Meyer's cleaning products or if you're wanting to try them, definitely check out the Grove Collaborative. It is a all natural, healthier option cleaning website where you can get your supplies. And I have the link down below in my description box where you can get a free five piece set with a purchase of $20 or more, but you have to use that link. So if you're interested, go ahead and check it out. You and me, we shine it dust And we won't ever get enough Now occasionally we'll get spills, especially in this area because this is where we keep the kids cups. So often the kids will use those bars as ladders, which drives us absolutely crazy because they're climbing up those bars and grabbing drinks. And then when they're pouring their drinks, occasionally they'll spill. So it happens right there on that cabinet area. So we often have to wipe that down. So I decided to change a few things up over here in the sink area. I took down my fall Mrs. Myers scented spray and the um, dish soap and the hand soap and I just switched it out with the apple cider one and then I put a pretty green plant there just to brighten things up in the corner. can't ever make us stop it so if you guys recall, I showed you guys this Bon Ami cleaning powder from the Grove Collaborative. I ordered it because it had great reviews and this is the first time that I'm trying it. Usually I use the Clorox powder 
and this stuff worked awesome like it worked totally the same as you would if you use the bleach um, the bleach solution which is a Clorox and this one is a non-toxic like healthier more environmentally friendly cleaning product so I had no complaints at all it worked wonderfully and it is scratch free it doesn't scratch any surfaces so so far I'm a huge fan You guys, I just used the e-cloth from Grove Collaborative to polish my granite countertops. And I honestly don't think they have been this shiny and sparkling clean ever. <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys because I did this after I cleaned the kitchen. I just thought to myself, you know what? I want to try polishing the granite with the e-cloth and I just kind of did it without the camera on because my camera was charging and I don't have a spare battery. So I just thought I would give you guys a look. I really love it. I really, really hope that Santa is watching this video because I really want a new cordless Dyson vacuum for Christmas. But I do have a question for you guys. If any of you guys are cordless Dyson vacuum owners, which one do you have? Because there's like the V6, 7, 8, and 10, I believe. And I'm not quite sure which one is, like which one do you get the biggest bang for your buck? I don't want to go and get the V7, but then like it's not as powerful or the battery dies faster. I want to make sure I get the right choice. Like right now I'm kind of stuck on the V10 but I don't know if that's just a waste of money to get the extra, so let me know in the comments below if you have any info for me. I would really appreciate it. All right guys, so I've got that pile of laundry over there on the couch and I'm not gonna fold it today because I am going to film a Laundro chat video for you guys, like a Q&A where you guys can ask some questions about me. So if you have any questions that you would like answered, go ahead and let me know down below in the comments and I will try my best to answer everybody's. guys so it looks like we've got some play-doh stuck on the carpet here I'm gonna try to get that out I'll just put some soapy water on there and see if it rubs out alrighty so I just have a little bit of laundry detergent and warm water and a scrubby brush and I'm just gonna pour this over the play-doh and I'll probably have to let that sit for a minute well it's already breaking apart Maybe I won't have to let it sit. Oh gee, that was easy. There we go. All right, and now I just have a old rag towel and we just scoop it up. And I'll just try to get, absorb as much 
some of the water out of the carpet as I can, and then we'll just let the rest of it air dry. For anybody that is wondering, I'm using my O Cedar Spin Mop that I purchased on Amazon to wash the floors. It is my favorite mop. It is so easy to clean. I just fill a bucket with some bleach water and I rinse it out in there. I don't even need to really put it in the washing machine because the Spin Mop I find um, like spins it out very easily. Like there's no need to put it in the washing machine when you can easily just wring it out in a bucket of bleach water. And that way you can just sanitize it when you're moving from room to room. If you're cleaning the bathroom and then you're gonna be doing the bedroom, um, it's very easy to sanitize it that way. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean our powder room. This bathroom is on our main floor. So it is used by all the guests. So it's really important that I keep it clean because on occasion, if the boys have been in here and have made a mess and company comes over, it's embarrassing. So I like to make sure that it's clean because we do often have company coming over especially with our boys playing hockey we have a lot of friends who stop by we live right in between two rinks so we're kind of like the pit stop we're the closest house when we're all going to hang out together so it's nice to make sure that the house is clean and that the bathroom is clean so that when we do have company pop by it's not embarrassing <laughs> In case you guys are wondering what in the world is written on our mirror, that was from our elf who wrote a message for the kids on the bathroom mirror and we just haven't wiped it off yet. So that is dried on toothpaste and I'm just gonna spray it down and try to loosen the toothpaste a bit. It's a little bit sticky here so I have to wipe it a few times to get it to rub off. Another spot that I like to make sure is clean is the light switches because with four sets of little hands around the house that are often sticky, there is like often mysterious like orange cheesies or whatever left on the light switches. So um, especially in the bathroom because they use that bathroom to go wash their hands. So if they have dirty hands, they'll flick on the light with dirty fingers and they won't even realize that they left a mark on there. 
you are like a moth to the flame. All right, so now I am making my bed and yes, it is dark outside. No, I did not get to my bed this morning. So I am making the bed now, but it is only like 5.30 and it's already dark. So I just don't like to get into a bed that's not made at night. So this is why I am still making my bed, even though the morning has come and gone. Yes, I should have made it this morning. I'm bad, <laughs> that's okay. Um, as long as it's done before I climb into bed. I'm just going to dust off the night tables and I'm going to use my Caldrea Rosewood spray to clean these off. I really love the smell of this as well. I'm totally obsessed with sprays as you guys can tell because I have basically every single spray under the sun and all of them are from the Grove Collaborative. I'm just going to freshen up my linens and I'm using this linen and room spray. It is Caldrea as well. And I'm just going to mist that all over the bed. All right, so the next room I'm going to work on is my bathroom. My vanity needs to be cleaned off, so I'm just going to put away the makeup where it belongs and then wipe off the counter because there is a glass cover, so there's always little fingerprints and watermarks on it, so I'm just going to wipe that off. And if you guys are wondering why my bathing suit is hanging there, it is because I'm trying to use that as motivation <laughs> so that I work out before the springtime comes because I really want to get in a little bit better shape. Um, I know I don't really need to lose weight, but I would like to tone up. So I'm hoping in the new year I can kind of stick to a program and stick with it until the spring and obviously longer than the spring but that's my goal from the new year till let's say um, May I would like to really work hard on um, toning up and getting a bit stronger If you guys want your bathroom to smell like a spa, use this spray. It is from Grove as well, and it is the concentrated rosemary and orange all-purpose spray. It smells amazing.
should, but I don't wanna fall. I know with you I have to learn my lessons. You go up when I go down. You see clear when I go blind. When I fall hard, you turn me around. All right, guys. So that brings us to the end of my ultimate all-day clean with me. I hope you guys got some great cleaning motivation. If you haven't already cleaned up, I hope you guys are gonna get at her and get your houses nice and tidy. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. See you next time, bye. But I